How y'all doing today? It's your boy. Dan got the plan back again with another video. You know, we got some got some picks to talk about today. We're going to have my team going up against the Houston Texans this week. The Patriots versus the Cowboys. I know everybody want to see that. San Francisco versus Green Bay. Oh, we, 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 we got some games this week. We got some games this week. Starting out with the first one. First one, I'm going to skip that one. You know, I do my own personal video for the first one. Well, for my team, the Dolphins at the Browns. Oh, man, who going to win this one? You know who it is? I'm finna go with the Dolphins. Gonna go with the Dolphins, bro. I know the the Browns just beat the uh, Steelers, but you know what? <laughs> I'm going with the Dolphins, bro. They've been playing pretty hard over these last three weeks. Well, actually, the last four. It was about the last month. They've been playing pretty hard, and I think they're gonna go over there and beat Cleveland, bro. Cause Cleveland, we know for one thing, they missing two. Of them. They best players on defense right now in this game. So yeah, I got got the Dolphins winning, bro. I say maybe maybe close, maybe one point win by the Dolphins, something like that. I don't know. It's gonna be Lions at the Washington team. I got the Washington team losing this game because I got the Detroit Lions winning. I just think that Washington, they just falling apart, bro. It's just bad, bro. I, I've never seen a team tank this bad, bro. It's, I, I don't know who's worse, the Washington team or the Dolphins, bro. Which, which one's worse, bro? I mean, not the Washington team or the Bengals, bro. Which one's worse, bro? Do they even play each other? I wish they did so we can see who's the worst team in the NFL, bro. <laughs> Raiders, Jets. I got the Raiders winning this thing. You know, got old Josh Jacobs. He's been playing real good. Old John Gruden, he kind of show him. He's trying to bring some to, uh, trying to bring a real deal winner to them. <sighs> to Las Vegas with them because, I'm going to be honest with you, it's just like L.A., Las Vegas. There's more stuff to do and, and, and Las Vegas didn't watch the football game, so you really gonna have to win over those fans for you going over there to Vegas or the Giants versus the Bears. Ugh, this is a disgusting game. It's one of the worst games of the week right here. I'm a cut I'm a I may have to Yeah, this is gonna be the worst game of the week, man. Worst game of the week. This is going to be the worst. Yep, it truly is. Worst game of the week, bro. I don't see any game worse than this. I don't know, man. I I guess I'll take the Bears with little to no confidence. On the scale from 1 to 10, how confident I am about this is like a 3. But even though I was taking the Giants, I still be a confidence of like a three. So I don't know, man. I think the heck for all I know, it might end in a tie. <laughs> I'm shooting for a tie in this one. <laughs> no, but I got the Bears with it. Not by I, I'm I'm just thinking. Maybe Daniel Jones loses in the game. I don't know, bro. It's like, it's going to be a peeing competition. Who's going to be the worst quarterback? Mitch Trubisky or Daniel Jones? Whoever whoever can get the best play out of their quarterback is going to win this game. That's just how I feel. Just, yeah, because, bro, the offense is just... Let me see... Saints, Panthers, it's too easy. Give me your Saints. Panthers, they're not even a real team right now, bro. They've been just getting slapped. 
Yep, and the Saints, you know, they finna just stomp all over. They at the crib, too? Oh, yeah, bro, I don't even think this would be close. I don't even know what the point spread is, but I see the Saints winning by at least 14. Hey, this is gonna be a bad game, bro. Seattle at the Eagles. Seahawks are coming off a big one the other day. I got the Eagles winning this game. I like the Seahawks and everything they stand for, but I just feel like the Eagles are going to get the win here in this game. So, it's like they had a tough time. They had to go up. I believe they came down. Woo, yeah, they had a tough time with New England in their defense. So, yeah, maybe they'll get back to their ways this week. See the Bucks, Falcons. I got the... Falcons beating the Bucks. The Bucks, they got a quarterback problem, huh? and so I, I'm, I'm looking at y'all Bucks. Y'all better, y'all better figure out a way to get y'all a quarterback. Let me see the Broncos and the Bills. Great A, great A systems. Great A. Broncos and the Bills. I have the Bills winning. This might be. This might could go down as the game of the week, bro. This should be a good game, man. So, I got the Bills winning this game by a field goal. That just seems right to me, by a field goal. Steelers, Bengals, uh, I, I got the Steelers winning. The Bengals are the worst team in the NFL, bro. Them and the Washington team, they neck and neck, bro. They should actually have a game at the end of the season. Whoever wins, they get the number one pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they should take the two sorriest teams in the league and at the end of the year, let them play a game, and whoever wins is get the number one pick. They call it the tank bowl, man. I know everybody used that one, but, <laughs> but let's just see it. They can have it right after the Super Bowl. <laughs> have it on Saturday on the Super Bowl. <laughs> have a big press conference and everything. So, uh, so, and, so, uh. So, Ryan Finley, how you feeling about this week? We got to go out here and we got to execute. We got to get a win. <laughs> and then you see, you see the way he asks us out there. The way he asks us like, man, I don't know, man. I got to get my offensive line to help me this week. Or, you know, we're going to be picking number two. I, I, I'm going to help y'all get the number one pick. We just got to get this win. <laughs> Oh, man, y'all wrong for that one. Y'all wrong for that one. Let's move on. Move on. <laughs> Jags versus Titans. Who cares? I got the Titans winning, but who cares? Just, who cares? <laughs> Cowboys at the Patriots. I don't even want to sit up here and hold y'all up that long, bro. This is going to be a complete domination. I have the New England Patriots winning this game 30 to 10, bro. This, maybe even 40 to 10, bro. This, this is going to be a bad game because, bro, the defense is just going to get a whole bunch of takeaways against Zach Prescott and the Cowboys offense. So, I just feel like and Tom Brady and them, they're just getting good enough situations to – I always come in and score the ball, but I got this ending in a dominant blowout. Whatever they, I think they're giving. I think the Patriots are minus six at home. I bet not over times a thousand because, bro, it's. I don't even see the Cowboys even standing in their range because, bro, when you look at the stats over the years, I mean, over this season right here, how many times had the Cowboys beat a good team, bro? And the only Patriots are actually a good team with a winning record. But the Cowboys, they're like, oh, and whatever against a good team. So, until they beat a good team this year, I got them losing this one. It's going to be a dominating blowout. Stephon Gilmore is just going to rip, rip Amari Cooper out of this game. Michael Gallup will get stopped by the McCordy brothers. And, bro, it's just... It's going to be a ridiculous game. They're going to get to 
I doubt they get to Tom Brady as much, but I think they're going to really get to Dak Prescott. Being that hey, his left right tackle banged up, you know Bill Belichick going to say, hey, bro, hey, we putting the best <laughs> best one on the side where the, where the tackle's banged up. We put the best one on the right side, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be a dominatingly blowout of a game, bro. It's going to be bad, bro. Out of the first quarter, I see it being like 28-3, to three, bro. After the first quarter, it's going to be bad, bro. I mean, after the first half, 28-3, to three, bro. It's going to be bad, bro. Jerry, hey, all y'all Patriots fans out there, Jerry Stenham will get some burn in this game, bro. He might he might get some burn in the, in the beginning of the third, bro. How bad it's going to look. The Packers at... The 49ers. I just don't see them being that bad, man. Aaron Rodgers. I got Aaron Rodgers winning. 24 to 17. It's going to be a close up game. But I feel like Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to make one more play. Aaron Rodgers and his defense is going to be able to make <laughs> one more play than Jimmy G will be able to make because. Aaron Rodgers is a technician, bro. He's gonna crack the code on this deep. Well, he's not gonna crack the code. He's gonna he's gonna dominate this defense, bro. I know they've been playing good so far, but bro, you're gonna have to go up against a team with a good offensive line, bro. They got a good offensive line, bro. They got wide receiver weapons, good lord. Well, just because they got Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is making a name out of these guys, and bro. And that defense, Jimmy G's going to have to go, or Jimmy Galapagos is going to have to go up against that defense, bro. And let's just see how he is against the uh, Smith brothers and that Packers defense. I I don't think he's going to be able to do nothing with it. I don't know if they're going to have George Kittle in this game. I don't think so. George Kittle, I think he's still hurt. I don't know. That is sad to think about. The Ravens at the Rams. This is too easy, man. I got Lamar Jackson them beating the Rams, closing the door on their playoff hopes tonight. I mean, not tonight, but Monday night. So, all right, then, y'all. Thank y'all for watching the video. Like, subscribe, turn on, post notifications. I'm out. Peace.